<laughs> so if you haven't um, been with us before, we have David Artinian with us this evening and um, his his colleague Stephanie. Um, so David is a is a gemstone hunter, <laughs> as he calls himself. So what he does is he travels the world, mainly throughout uh, Africa and Asia, to find find unique and the best quality gemstone rough. The gemstone rough is then taken to their office in Thailand, and they're cut by by his relatives, by his Thai relatives, his in laws. Um, I see his beautiful wife Nong just joined us. Here, let, let's uh, so, let's highlight uh, highlight Nong here. I just want to say hi. Hi Nong, how are you? Yeah. So I'm David, and and this is Nong in the middle, and Stephanie on the end. <laughs> um, well, thank you, Margaret. So yes, we're I mean we're we're here in sunny San Diego, and we're based here in San Diego, and we have a branch of our company in Eastern Thailand. And so what I do is travel all over the world. I go to mining areas and buy the most beautiful, rare, and unusual rough gems I can. Then we take them to our family, my brother-in-law, his wife, and her older brother. They're world-class gemstone artists. And then we simply do special engagements like this. So we show gems. We're going to take you to a remote uh, place of Myanmar today. We're going to go to a, a peridot mine, which is near the ruby mine area. Oh, wow. This is a restricted area. Foreigners are not allowed to go. I had to get special permission from the inside. And so I'm going to take you to this mine today and you'll see the process of how they extract the gems. Very interesting. But we're going to look at today's, uh, today is, is we're uh, featuring unusual gems. And so if you see a gem on the turntable and you want to know more about it, you just ask, okay? If you want to know how much it is, just ask. I'll probably tell you. Um, but if you forget or whatever, and if you want a gem, you say, oh, I claim that gem. That's mine. <laughs> Today, Boy, you, can take it. you can take it. Yes. Yeah, so it's Friday. The gem would be at Abracadabra by Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, holiday. We have long holiday. Yeah. For your final approval and payment. And then, the, you know, the team at Abracadabra, they are like super into art. And so they'll create a wonderful, one of a kind what kind of piece for you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So uh, does, before we get started, who is there? A, who has a favorite gem? Boulder opals. Boulder opals. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Who else has a favorite gem? Well, sapphire is my birthstone. Okay, oh, Marilyn. Yeah. Yes. Mine too. <laughs> Yours too. Happy birthday. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday was Wednesday. Me three. Oh, my birthday is tomorrow. Oh, oh woo, happy yeah. birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and who else has a favorite gem? Who else has got a favorite gem? Maybe somebody hasn't spoken yet. Anne, what's your favorite gem? Me, um, boulder opal and or pink tourmaline are what I've got too many of. Them. Uh, okay, cool. Courtney, what's your favorite gem? You're on mute, so you can unmute and tell oh. us. Oh, we're, we're talking about tanzanite over here. Ah, tanzanite. <laughs> Sapphires and tanzanite. Oh, fun, fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight, the, I'm going to highlight the turntable right now. Oh, wow. oh, anyway, look what we've got on the turntable. What do you think we've got here? A pair of tanzanites. You know that pair of tanzanite, right? No, actually not peridot. Take another guess, a more exotic, rare guess. That's a hard one. <laughs> it's a hard one. Kyanite? Kyanite. Kyanite, sorry. Kyanite? We still got you stumped. Uh, not kyanite. Color. One more, one more guess. Citrine. A, chrysal a good, chrysal bear, a good that that is chrysal bear would be kind of like the most interesting guess, but actually it's called <laughs> spin. It's one of the most rare gems in the world, and they have fire that's greater than a diamond. Look at this match pair right here. How do you how do you spell that? S P H E N E. Look at that. Also known as titanite. I look at this one here. Now, this came from Madagascar. I used to go to Madagascar, and I would get the rough. That's a very, very and, new one. And there's a piece of the rough right there. Interesting. What is that? Oh, That's yeah. a rough spin. I'm going to guess we're looking through a, a loop. 
Isn't that beautiful? You now, get higher dispersion than diamonds. Yeah, they're more, they're far more rare than diamonds. They have higher, higher, they got more fire than diamonds. Now that matched pair of sphene right there is 2.12 carats. And then we've got a we've got a beautiful cushion that's 2.36 carat. Uh, this one is spectacular. Is that like that apple green color? Yeah. This is the most desirable color in Sphene. Who likes that? So pretty. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful sparkle. So there, there's your exotic gem number one. Hmm. Very, oh, I'm going to put the dime on the turntable. Now you can see what it looks like in comparison. Yeah, he's got them blown up. Okay. Oh, by the way, you know, see this pair? We're going to give this pair away today. Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa. They're a seven, no six, six no. millimeter pair of tanzanite. <laughs> <laughs> I was loving tanzanite. And you know what you're going to have to do to, to win? No. Uh, when I say go, you're going to have to type in uh, the carat weight that you think that matched pair is. What do you think? Right there. And the closest one is going to win it. That's valued at a couple hundred dollars. That's anyway, um, what do you think this is right here? It's another tanzanite. Does somebody say tanzanite? That's not a tanzanite. Yeah, yeah. It is. And you know what, why I selected this tanzanite? I selected it because it's got, see the green flashes in there? Yeah. It's an unusual color. It's got purple, blue, and green. Wow. Like three tones. <laughs> three tones. It's got three colors and it's like a teal. Tanzanite is mostly blue. Now see that one there, how you see the green right there? Yeah. As you turn tanzanite, sometimes mm -hmm. you get a couple of colors. And this one, you can see like that purple, then you see teal. Mm -hmm. Super popular right now. Isn't that something? David, I have a question. Go for it. When when we were in Tanzania, yes, at the the country store, you know, the federal government store, all the tanzanites were purple. Right. Help me understand what color tanzanite should be. It, well, it comes out of the ground, kind of a greeny browny color. Okay, and then it, how in the world did it become purple? It, you heat it, uh, uh -huh. and and if you heat it, sometimes you get really good purple. It's trichroic, and what will happen is one of the colors gets burned out of it when they heat it, and it, it brings out the blues and violets. Got it. But do you, anybody know what this gem is that I'm holding up? Star sapphire? Isn't it beautiful? It's from Madagascar as so, well. So this is the rock tens. It says it's a good star sapphire. It's a really yeah. good star sapphire. <laughs> now, does anybody love star sapphire? I have one. Oh, congratulations. Oh, a beautiful one. She, that's a family heirloom, isn't it, Marilyn? Yes, my mother was given it by my grandparents when she graduated from Michigan in 1939. Wow. wow. That's amazing. See in the back, I'm, showing, I'm highlighting the back of the gem. You can see some of the natural growth lines in, in the sapphire. See how it's on an angle? Let me do it again. A natural star sapphire will have growth lines that are angular rather than curved. Wow. The curved ones are an indication that it's synthetic. Look at this star sapphire. He's very excited about the pronouncement of the star on the sapphire. <laughs> yes, I know. That's the best one. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to show you something else that's really interesting. Now, we're jumping all over the place because we're looking at rare and unusual gems today. Any idea what this one might be? Yeah, let's have let's have another giveaway. How about whoever guesses what that is, get an Abra gift card for a hundred dollars. Oh, Ooh. guess what this is? Spessor type. Spessor type garnet. Garnet. Okay, so Anne and or sorry. It's not. No, it's not a spessor type, but good. Good try. And a lot of sparkle. Yeah. Other guesses? Citrine. Yeah, no, that's a good guess, but not not true. Um, Marilyn, do you have a guess? I have no idea, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. 
If it's not a sapphire, ruby, or an emerald, I have no clue. <laughs> okay. That's Isn't okay. That all, this version almost like diamonds? No, no. Um, how about Alice? Alice, do you have a guess? I do not have a guess. <laughs> okay. How about um, Song? I'm sorry, am I saying your name right, Song? No. No, that's another person. Different person. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Labradorite? Labrador right? uh, that's it's a good yeah, guess, but no. Yeah. Should we give well, should we give them a clue? <laughs> yeah, let's give them a clue. It's a birthstone. Yeah. That's one of the birthstones. Stone with topaz. Ah, who said that? Barbara said that. Barbara. Barbara, you win a gift card. Ding, ding. Woo! Woo! I'm very excited about that. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh. <laughs> We're, we're I was going to say it, but you filled right in. That's perfect. <laughs> so this is an imperial topaz, and it comes from one place in the world. It comes from Brazil, a place called Oro Preto. It's a natural gem, natural color, uh, November's birthstone. And look how it's faceted. We, our team is incredible. They take the material that I get, and they turn them into works of art. So it's worthy of, a, of an heirloom it? piece. I'm sorry? How, what size is that stone? How many carats is that? Uh, stone? This imperial topaz is 2.84 carat. It's 10.3 by 8. So it's a 10 by 8. And, it, okay. and that's a rare stone. That's what we're yeah. talking about today. Rare gems. It's got a beautiful... When somebody said spessartite, that was a real compliment. Because your best uh, imperial topaz has got a little orange color to it. A pinkish orange. Yeah. Would you guys like to see any of these stones on the hand? If you have interest and you think you might want to, you know, see it more, you know, uh, get a better view of it, you might want to buy it. Then we can put it on Stephanie's hand. She's a great hand model. <laughs> it Mom's not modeling anymore. Is <laughs> not retired from modeling? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I got I got kicked out. Oh, I have to retire. She's retiring from that job. Ooh, another star sapphire. Yeah. Ooh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> That's a grayish, uh, slightly purplish gray, a star from Myanmar. It's a denim color. Yeah. That's a carat 36. It's a gray star, technically. Anybody see something here that calls your name so far? And if you if you do, then we will we'll uh, you know we'll tell you more about it. If not, I'll scoot these aside. So shall I scoot these aside? Yeah, I see some head nodding. Okay, so we'll scoot these aside. Now they're they're there on the turntable. So if you want to know more about them, we'll come back to them. They're kind of there hanging out. And um, so Sapphire birthstone people, all you Sapphire all, babies. All our Virgos. All Ooh, our look at this yeah. teal. This is a rare color. It's a teal color Sapphire. Ooh, beautiful. Pretty, yeah. That's a beautiful round. It's untreated okay. and it has 2.34 carats. On the turntable, it looks almost like turmeric. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really, really unusual. Now, an even more unusual color of sapphire is this bicolor. Green and yellow. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. And then I've got this one here. This is really fun. This came from Sri Lanka. Pretty soon. Oh, it's got... It's got, uh, it's a white, but it's got a stripe of blue in it. How big is that? This one is 3.03 .03 carats. Oh, somebody is asking about Paparaja. Ah, Karen and Barbara. We're just, Karen we're and guessing. Barbara. 2.5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's at Paparaja. Let's know what's in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta know. Now, I'm going to show you a really weird Padparasha. This is really light. 
This is extremely light. It's pink and it has to have a little orange in it as a 0.98. Okay, tell us more about Paparaja. I've never heard of it before. It comes from Sri Lanka. Well, it's a color of sapphire. It's got to have pink and it's got to have orange in it. Nong's getting out a, a bigger one, but Padparash is the most valuable color of sapphire. So I'm going to pull out the- Leave it to Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> She's your gal. I'm going to pull this one out. This has a GIA cert. It's untreated. Oh, yeah. Just said that's what they look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the finest color, the most valuable of all sapphires, even more than royal blue, is this color right here. And this What's one, yeah, carrot 67. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is a gem. That is a really cool gem. It's a really special gem. It's super special. Anybody want to get that one? <laughs> Why yes, is that one for sale? <laughs> well, what is it? Was that a was that a contest? <laughs> it, that one is indeed for sale. Nong, could you cover up the lights overhead? You see so, that? That's a color change sapphire. Blue to purple. The lights aren't quite picking it up. But you can see how it's like blue under natural light and purple under incandescent. Yeah. Is that coming through okay? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. yeah there it is. Yeah. We just uh, changed things around with our studio. And so I'm testing out some this color change sapphire to see how it looks. Now that's a beautiful oval. It's carat 11. Beautiful little gem from Sri Lanka. It came from one of my recent trips there before COVID hit. David, how often do you typically in a, you know, in a normal year, how often do you travel to mines? I go two or three times a year mm -hmm. and I'll be gone for often yeah. around a month. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. He Do you have um, particular mines or miners that you keep going back to? I'm sorry? Do you have particular mines or miners that you keep going back to? Well, I go to where the best, the most fine, somebody just joined us. I go to where I can get the finest material. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a few places I love to go, Sri Lanka, because it has some of the most beautiful gems. You have to, you know, you land in the airport and you have to drive to up to a place called Ratnapura. It's kind of up in the hills. You, you drive through these narrow roads with crazy people driving. <laughs> craziest driving. And the craziest are the buses. <gasps> these buses are careening around like on two wheels, around corners on the wrong side of the road. Oh, even midnight, you see. It, them. Yeah. And, and they, um, what they call white knuckle. Oh, um, yeah. I was, I was in, the, in the car with a friend, but it's like anybody who have the best brake. Oh, and okay. and, a, and a horn is a necessary part of your uh, car. It's more important than just about anything else is your horn. <laughs> See that pair right there? It's a bicolor pair of yellows and greens from Thailand. That comes from a mine that's in Jantaburi, Thailand. It's the same town that we have our gem cutting business. And that area is in the east, not far from Cambodia. Look at that. Nice. So yellow and green. Yeah, yellow and green. On the angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those would make a beautiful pair of earrings. Oh yeah, they would. They're they're a five point three millimeter. Does anybody like orange? Sure. Okay. And are you born? You're born in September, right? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. What what month are you born? June. Okay, you're Alexandra. You're coming up soon. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I've, well, Alexandria, all the ones I've ever seen are the muddy ones that nobody wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're in for a I treat today. Really good ones. <laughs> so see this? This is an orange sapphire. That's and, beautiful. Yeah, a very unusual color. Carrot 33 and a carrot 33 oval orange sapphire. Look how sparkly that is. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then I've got a matched pair. 
of more yellow than orange of yellow. These are yellow sapphires from Nigeria. Pretty golden yellow. Yeah, golden yellow. Mm. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, let's just go for it. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to have Nong come back to... to uh... Thanks for joining us, Karen. Dave, do you have any Pariba tourmalines? I do. That's coming up. I'm going to show it. you... Um, I'm going to have Stephanie... Could you do... Stephanie, could you do what Nong did and you cover up the light? Yeah. I'm going to show you some Alexandrite now. But I have to turn the lights out. Uh, in order to be able to show the color change. See that little pear shape? Yep. I really need the smaller light. She's waiting for the red. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Oh, there you go. There's your Alexandrite. Your pear shape, it goes from a, a green to a, a kind of a purplish red color. <clears throat> How do you like that? Beautiful. Yeah. Is that better than the ones you've seen before, Anne? Yeah. <laughs> and I've got one more here. It's a. Um, I think you guys once showed me a really beautiful one, and I started to get the point. Oh, look at that one right there. Oh, that's a beauty. There you go. That's, that's got beauty. super color change. See, that's what makes gems so unique is they could be the same gem but look totally different. That's under natural light like outside and then that's under incandescent inside. Look at that. Yeah, we're not quite getting the color, the oh, color change on it. Light, yeah. Anyway, there's your color change, your Alexandrite. So if you want that, it's a, you can take it away now. That's an opportunity gem. Okay, let's move this to a different gem. I'm going to take you to Cambodia now. Okay. Let's go to Cambodia and let's. Ah. I'm going to scoot a couple of these aside. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Like We've got blue. a lot of gems on the turntable. We'll just scoot these aside. <laughs> Isn't that fun, though? Yeah, don't you love all these colors turning around? <laughs> Look at this one. This is a, a gem that I haven't been able to get for a couple of years because the mining source is depleted. This is called, what do you think this is? My mom thinks it's a garnet. <laughs> Not garnet. Try again. It's a rare gem. They have they have fire like a diamond, visible dispersion. It's from only one place in the world. It's kind of like tanzanite. This color comes from only one place in the world. And that's in Cambodia. It's about a 12-hour drive. We had to drive all the way across the nation of Cambodia to get to it. You go past Angkor Wat, through all these rural areas where they're like farming and then over the Mekong River and then eventually to this mining area. And the gem is called Zircon. And no, it's not cubic zirconia. It's no, a real no. ancient gem. Heavens no. Heavens no. no. And, and doesn't, I think there's a Zircon or two that um, Abra has actually in their case. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Anybody want to know about the zircon? Tell us the damages. Yes, yes. Tell us more. <laughs> the dam the damages on the zircon. Now that oval is three point four nine carats. I used to go there every single year to the mine and buy from the miners and hang out with the miners. And for the last two years, I haven't been able to go because there's no material. So anyway, that's a few, is that because the, they can't get to it, or is it because well, of the, of you know, the, the years no, ago civil unrest. Well, no, it's not civil unrest. Years ago, the mine produced, um, you know, quite well. But then the official mining was finished. And what happened, you know, after that is they were digging around the rubber trees. And there's rubber plantations. And so we would, we would get some around, you know, in that area. 
and then that's gone. And so, you know, I don't know what the future of it is. It's just not available because it's pretty much mined out. A lot of these gems, they mine them for years, and then eventually they're just gone. And so- They I get mean, more expensive. Yeah, it's, it's limited in availability. Now, yeah. fine gems are worth collecting. They're, they're like rare art, they're like antiquities, they're like even classic cars for that matter. Mm -hmm. Not a bad place to park your money because gems like these will appreciate. Now the match pair is 3.88 carats. Are these heat treated or not? They have to. Okay. Yeah. All blue zircon is heat treated. Now okay. you can get zircon from other, other countries. I'm gonna show you another zircon here. So David, heat treatment isn't necessarily like a bad thing, right? It's not, it's normal and routine. See that orangey one there? They could heat treat that and they could, it would never turn blue. Uh, but there's one place in the world that if you heat treat them, you might get a beautiful blue. And that that's what makes it so special and rare. And he, it comes out of the ground brown, right? David? Dark chocolatey brown. If you're lucky, you get it. You comes out of the ground a, a, a dark chocolatey brown. See them on the hand. Get a size comparison. Yeah. Let's sure. On, I'm going to put it on our hand model's hand, but I've got to highlight the the other turn to uh, her hand. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see what they look like. And her diamond is what size? A carrot size, but it is a, an Asher cut, so it's a little smaller than a normal round carrot size. Got it. Okay. <laughs> that gives you something to compare with. Okay, um, so here's the set. That's the, the ring, and then this is the earrings. Those, they're like an electric blue. <laughs> oh, they are. They are. It's only, only one gem in the world that looks like this. No other gem. Beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? And they sparkle a lot. They do. Even the dark days of winter is gonna look good. <laughs> Are so they that, graded, Zircon, or no? They grade it. What do you mean by graded? Like quality grading? Mm -hmm. um, this is pretty high quality, as you can see. Now, now colored stones are graded differently than diamonds. Color is the greatest uh, highest proportion of values and color than clarity. These are totally clean and they're, and they're, and they're a really rich color. Anyway, does anybody have an interest in these? We're thinking about it. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll Got to see the Paribas first. I'm sorry? Have to see the Paribas first. Okay. I'm going to put yeah. these over on yeah. the- We haven't seen any tourmaline yet. Let's see some tourmaline. Yeah. You got you got it. It's coming up. I don't blame you. That's one of my favorites too. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the turntable. And then um, we're gonna look at some tourmalines. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set these aside for you on the turntable. You Dave, are you gonna have any opal today or not? Am I gonna show you opal? Yeah. Uh, you can I can bring some out for you. I'm only asking because I need to, like, you know, pace myself. Okay, <laughs> okay you asked for Pariba. Oh, God. Can we see that next to the zircon so we can compare the color? Um, so it's got a little more green in it. Let's see. Yeah, Pariba is a neon color, but it's got more green. And that Pariba is 0.68 carats. Wow. They're, they're one of the most valuable gems in the world. Yeah. More valuable than diamonds for sure. Where did they come from? These are from Mozambique. Beautiful. Yeah. So somebody wants to see tourmaline. Uh, let's see, I've got a bicolor here. So I remember we're doing an unusual gems today. And here's a bicolor tourmaline. Isn't that fun? It's so a, the pink and the green. It's a rare phenomenon. Some people call them watermelon tourmaline because you get right. both. The, you just said that. 
Yeah, you get like the green and the pink fruit. And here's a lovely, the delicious green tourmaline. See the way it's faceted? Most cutters will cut 10, 15 gems in a day, uh, but our team does two or three at the most. And that's because of their attention to detail. Because when you wear a gem, you're not wearing a carrot weight, you're wearing a beauty, whether it's sparkling or not. I mean, we, we wear gems for connection, for, you know, to, we feel, feel loved and we feel, you know, rich and significant and all the good feelings that gems give us so you're not wearing a carrot weight, you're wearing the, the sparkle the and, and the beauty of it. And that's what we're committed to is bringing out the beauty in the gem. A number of people have been asking me lately about these peachy colors. And that's this tourmaline. A, this is a peachy color tourmaline. It's a matched pair, which is really hard to find. Okay, let's have another giveaway. Um, let's give away those tourmaline, or excuse me, the tanzanite pair for the person who gets closest to the weight of those peachy tourmalines. So the pair of peachy tourmalines. What is the weight? Closest person will win the trillion tanzanite. Oh, so you gotta guess that you've got to guess the tourmaline pair to win the tanzanite pair. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. This so is fun. Okay, so the tourmaline don't pair. Don't bring those front and center again. <laughs> yeah, can we put the um, can we put those in the middle, the peachy tourmaline, and then what you're winning, the tanzanite. Okay, here's here's the here's the tourmaline right there, and then the tanzanite are over here. This is what you're winning. There's your tourmaline. There's your tanzanite. So how much do you think that pair weighs? Type it. You got to type it though. <laughs> Where do we type it? Uh, in the chat. Yep. Okay. At the bottom of your screen and your Zoom is a chat box. And just click on the chat and then on the right hand side, uh, the chat will open up. Anybody want to guess? They might be calculating, doing, doing, we're calculating, doing okay. We're gonna have to set a time <laughs> quadratic limit. equations over here. <laughs> Should we give it 60 seconds? Okay, we got Victoria's guess and Song's guess. Okay, 60 seconds starting now. Okay, we got, got 4.4, we got 3.92. Six carat. <laughs> Ella Burton. Now, Ella, uh, Mariah, Ella Mariah is our um, is our jeweler. She's one of our senior jewelers. So we'll, we'll see how close she gets, but I'm, I'm not sure she can win because she, no, she already she has a pair of those. <laughs> who, who else wants to guess? I mean, you got nothing Does to lose. Have guess? I mean, I'm not good at this stuff. Oh, All right, okay. maybe you'll just have beginner's luck. Yeah, maybe I will. Okay. All right. Six carat, 5.2, 4.2. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, three, two, one, stop. All right. So the carat weight of these pair of tourmaline is 3.88. 3.88. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We've got um, a winner. 3.92. Yeah, and, and, oh, and you win. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can we put those hands away in the middle so she can get a good look at what she's won? Yeah. There you go, everybody. Well, those are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. The yeah. grand prize for parents. And now I just have to get them set. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I know someone who can help you with that. <laughs> I know that. You guys do beautiful work. I've had you do it before. Thank you. We appreciate that, Anne. You bet. And that's for Anne, if you could write her name on it. Absolutely. All right. So we were looking at uh, Pariba. We were looking at Zircon and these matched pair of, of tourmalines that got so much excitement going. We've got bicolor tourmaline, we've got a zircon here. These, I'll scoot away some of these sapphires.
So if you saw something on there that you want to know more about, then just let us know. Oh, I've got something really, ju really juicy here. Whoop. That just, it's so, it's kind of big, so it's hard to use the tweezers on. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the jumbo. That's, what do you think that is? It's watermelon tourmaline. Yes, it is. Yes, ma'am. That's a beauty. All we can see is your big fingers. That's from, <laughs> that's from Brazil. Isn't that gorgeous? What's carrot size? 14.43 carats. That's a collector's piece, by the way. That's something you, you, you collect and you hold that. You put that in a pendant or a big ring. And that is going to, everybody's going to wonder what that is. Can we see it on Stephanie's hand just to get a sense of scale? Yes. Excuse my big ugly fingers. Here we go. What's the millimeter size of that? That is 21.6 by 10 point something or other. Let me tell you here. Okay, there's the hand. 21.6 by 10.8. But see the, de see the definition of red to green? Uh, Beautiful. That is extremely rare. You just don't see that anymore. I was very, very fortunate to get those. Yeah. That's exquisite. It is. Yeah, that's definitely something you want to you want to, you know, keep treasure. That's something you pass down to the next generation and right. one day they take it to the jewelry store and the jewelry store owner says, "Oh my gosh, what is that? Where did you get that?" <laughs> Where did you get that exactly? We don't have those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I missed out on mine, so don't do what I did. <laughs> she had one picked out, but somebody bought it at a, one of our gem parties. Oh, no. Yeah. I know, tragic. Yeah. So. so the cobbler's you, friends have no shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, do you want us to put that one aside for you? Yeah. And the Zircon millimeter size of the um 3.49 in the pair okay it's uh let's see 3.49 is 8.9 by 7 millimeter oval mm -hmm. and the matched pair is 7.2 by 6.3 okay i think it's a nice nice size for an earring i'll go ahead and do that again keep it over there i'm going to show you again next to the to the um uh, tourmaline. tourmaline. You could you could make that as a stud, or you could just dangle it right below the ear. Yeah. Oh, that would be pretty. Just like put a little stud, and it just goes just right down from the earlobe. Yeah. You wouldn't even need diamonds because these sparkle so much. Oh, you don't. This is this has the sparkle of a diamond. They look like blue diamonds. That would be a great set, tourmaline and zircon. <laughs> <laughs> you be the, that's coming out of your watermelon. You'd be a, like a that's like that's rich. I'm telling you, that yeah. looks rich. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll just sit there and look at the gems. I know I'm kind of crazy, but um, and gorgeous. I just I just feel so rich when I look at them. I don't have any cash because I got gems, but <laughs> at least I got gems. <laughs> You know, for me, they really, they really brighten my mood and lift my mood. Like if I'm not, if not, I'm not feeling very up, I might right. go look at something really special at Abra and admire it or, or wear one of my gems that I really like. And that helps me. Yeah. Helps oh, yeah. me up a little bit. Absolutely. Especially if it's kind of rainy or something. Yep. Yeah, we get that in Michigan, the gray days. <laughs> yeah. We get fog here. Too young. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can have your zircon as your as your light as your sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Or the big tourmaline, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so while you think about that, I'm gonna um, I'll show a couple more. Should we look at the opal? Yes. <laughs> okay, I've got to look. I want to show you an unusual barrel. This is a green oh. barrel. Same family as aquamarine, but it's green, green, greenish blue. You know, we haven't done our gem hunt yet. 
I just remembered. I got kind of in this wrapped up. It wrapped up in this. Mm -hmm. I just looked over and I saw the peridot. Now you want to see opal, and you said you want to see fire opal. Uh, boulder opal. I don't have boulder opal, but I do have Ethiopian. Uh, oh, let's look at that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's take a quick trip first. Let's go to the gem hunting center of um, Myanmar, where they get the the beautiful and rare peridot. Then I'll show you a couple pieces of peridot. Good morning, gemstone lovers. We are on our way to the peridot mine. I had no idea what it was going to be like coming up here. It is so remote. And we're, it's about uh, 10 miles, 15 miles from town, but the road is terrible. It's barely a trail at times and unpaved and ro rocky. So um, they can only come up here generally during the dry season. Uh, the rainy season is really it washes out but uh, we're heading up and we're going to be at about 6,000 feet above sea level which is very very high for Southeast Asia and looking back you can see where we came from way down there is the town where we were this morning that's Mogok town and we're up around 6,000 feet above sea level Welcome to Byangan Ze, which is the name of Peridot in the Burmese language. Now, the name of the village where the Peridot is from is Byangan. And this is the gem that we are looking for. We are high up in the mountains. We're about 6,000 feet above sea level. This is an ancient gem that's been found here. It was found originally by the, by the villagers. And once they realized it was valuable, they started to mine it. Anyway, we are going to head on to the mine and we'll catch up with you in a few minutes. This mine is actually producing for more than 40 years. Now, originally there was, there was, a, um, there was a village nearby and the villagers saw these green rocks on the surface. So they started to dig it and then they realized, wow, this is, a, this is something of value. And so they began to it created an industry around finding the peridot. Uh, but you can see how they're mining there. They're, they're, it's hard rock mining. It's not secondary deposit mining. It's hard rock mining. Tremendous amount of work goes into this. So they find the peridot in the cracks and crevices. They don't find it uh, obviously on top, but it's going to be in in cracks and you can see right there there's a change in um, the, the uh, composition of the rock. So the peridot is found in this kind of structure right here. It's soft rock, you can break it off and the, they'll find the, the crystal, uh, the bunches of crystals in there. They'll be inside these little um, soft pockets. This is really hard rock mining so what they're doing is they're preparing, they make their own explosives. That's gunpowder. And they're packing it with wire and filament. And then, um, as we heard earlier, or as I felt the whole mountain shake earlier, they were blasting. This is one of the older mine shafts. Ooh, did you just feel? I just felt a an explosion. Somebody uh, outside just blasted. Just felt the whole mountain shake. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Anybody have questions or thoughts about that? So those are peridot in the center of the table now? That's from that mine. Wow. Beautiful thing. Yes. It's actually one, not everybody loves that color, but I absolutely love that color because of it's so, I mean, the apple green color is so vibrant. And it's one of those gems that almost has uh, visible dispersion. It's got really highly uh, dispersive. 
And that's why if you cut it right, if you have the nicest, the best material and you cut it right, you're going to get that beautiful, um, that beautiful, intense uh, sparkle. How big is the large oval? The large Ooh. oval, that's 7.23 carats. And that one is 13.5 uh, by 11.1 millimeter. And that one normally would be about 4,600. It's 3,904. The matched pair is 4.17 carat cushion. There's 7.2. Is yeah. that calling anybody's name? Because, you know, gems call your name. You'll know it. <laughs> yeah, they talk to you for sure. So I'm going to scoot some of these over here. So let us know if you're interested in any of these peridot. So what are we going to do now? Let's look at a couple of opals. Oh, <laughs> God, that's a pretty thing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Let's see. I'm trying to get the light just right. That is an Ethiopian opal. It's got a magnificent play of color. And that's pretty close to what it really looks like. Um, that is a 6.41 carat. On the hand too because it oh yeah they look if you are interested in this we'll put it on stephanie's hand okay yeah put it on stephanie's hand just for fun and what's its measurement i'll tell you in a second let me spotlight the hand first and eh, it's not coming through well no Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Too much direct light. Yeah, you can't have direct light on the opals. It kills it in the on the camera. And it is 22.3 by 11.4. Now, we're not getting the light really well. No. Now, you can't shine light on it. That's the thing about opals. The one we have is really bright, so you don't need to add the light. Yeah. You like that one? Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you another one on her hand at the same time. Oh. We're not able to actually get the play of color coming out, but it's spectacular. Yeah, better fire. Yeah. There we yeah, go. There. Take take that away. Yeah, that gives you a little better, a little more look, better look. Opals are quite tricky with a camera. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to try it on the turntable. You might actually get a better view of it on this turntable here. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's the gem right there. There you go. Now, now we're talking. There. Gorgeous. The play of colors through and through. So just put this one in. What do you think of that one, Anne? Um, I don't think it's as good as the other Ethiopian opal that you sold me that I'm looking at right here, right now. <laughs> okay. Um, that, that's beautiful, but that's a lot of yellows, and mine has a lot of red. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you like the red, then you pick the right one. I guess. Yeah, you've got to, if you like red, you got because a good one. None of them are the same. Yeah, they're it's all a, unique. Yeah. So I would recommend then um, the zircon and the the pariba and the let's look at this one. Oh, that's a pretty thing. This is semi black. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that explains it. It's beautiful stones, like all grayish, brownish. It's like a black opal. All yeah. black, and it had tons of play of colors. Yeah. Nice broad flashes of had, color too. You have the red and orange and purple, mm -hmm. and green. On that actually green. might be the best one. Yeah. You know mine, what happened mine. is the, the I, gem. I, I don't want to sell it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know the gems are in the in the safe, and sometimes I lose track of what we've got. I hide it because I don't want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So if you want that one, snag it, whoever wants it. Oh, I've never seen the game. I'm going to be really hiding this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Any takers for that one? Sometimes you just got to snap it up if you see something that really calls your name. I never have people tell me later, oh, I wish I had got the, 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 the uglier one. <laughs> I wish I had got the smaller one. They yeah. never say that, but it's always about the one that got away. This one is 6.98 carat and it's 19.4 by 11.2 millimeters. So wow. it's pretty good size. Yeah. Good pendant size or elongated ear uh, for the ring size. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to put that one aside here. Let's put on Stephanie. Oh, put on her hand? I thought we already <laughs> had it on our hand. I don't know if it's going to come through on the hand. I'm not impressed. Yeah, the reds aren't coming through on the hand. Maybe my hand then. Let's try Nong's hand. No, it's even worse. What about my hand? I, no, it's the, not you that's worse. I said the gem looks worse. Here, what about on a hairy hand? <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. We're messing with you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is there anything um, that anyone has seen that they'd like back on the table, back in the center of the table to get yeah, a good look at him? What about the fire? Yeah. We miss anything? Do you yeah. have rubies? No. I do have rubies. Would you like to see rubies? Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> do you have a particular shape or size or or something in ruby that you would like to see? I walked away from a ruby at Abra about two years ago and it was around, but it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, it was little because I don't think I can afford real rubies. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, rubies are... Any any ruby of of, of uh, beauty is going to generally be smaller. Wow, that's a rare stone right there. That's a mogul ruby. It's, it's Burmese. This is uh, has a GIA certificate. Oh, Sri Lankan. Sorry, that's even more interesting. It's a carat nine. It's from Sri Lanka. It's almost purple. It, it's got a little bit of. Well, let's see, it's got a very slight, the purple is being exaggerated in the camera, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's actually a little bit more, um, more red than that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I gotta turn the light on. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna try to get a more accurate color. Yeah, the color is a little more accurate now. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. We've got a beauty here. This is a 0.68 carat from Burma. It's from over the hill where we saw the the uh, gem hunt where we where we're on the at the Peridot mines. Ooh. Ooh, look at that color. Pretty. That's a beauty. It's 0.68 carats. So it's millimeter size is Millimeter is 5.1 by 5. Okay. And then if you like earrings, I've got a, a, a couple, a pair here for studs. They're really sparkly. Pretty. Yeah, and these are uh, 4.2 millimeters, half carat size. So anyway, there's a, there's a couple of rubies. I do have more if you want to see. Now, if, you, if you're looking today, you don't quite see what you're looking for, we can set a private appointment for you to look at gems. And we can just give you one-on-one -on -one attention and you can just see everything that, you know, and we can really focus on some specifics for you. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, I've got a question for the Abra people. Sure. Do you still have the blue zircon in the um, case in the toward the back of the room, back of your uh, showroom? And what size was that? Yeah, that's a good question for Victoria who's in the store. Victoria, did you hear that? <laughs> we didn't hear that. 
didn't hear that again. Um, yeah, we'll have Victoria check that for you. I know we have a ring, a platinum ring that Victoria made that is set with uh, Sirkan. And I right. thought, wasn't there, wasn't there a free stone or a necklace? Sorry, what was that, Anne? Was there a free stone or a necklace there? A loose stone? Yeah, if I, I did Zircon, it would be a necklace and earrings. Oh, I right. see. Okay. Yeah, let me have Victoria check um, that loose one for you. But, you know, there's no reason to haul these in from San, San Diego if, well, there might be a reason, but. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, Victoria, let's check in for you right now. So we got our zircon, we got our ruby. It's a beautiful semi-black opal. There's a peridot. We've got these beautiful tourmalines spinning back there. The tanzanite, the interesting, strange colored tanzanite. We even had a demantoid garnet right there. Don't forget the big guy, the giant. Water and then we got this gorgeous, <laughs> extremely rare bicolor tourmaline here, or watermelon as some people like to call it. Beauty. So who else has a question? Um, most folks have been really quiet. Karen and Barbara. <laughs> we haven't heard from you in a while. You're kind of hiding out there. We're, 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 we're going back and forth fast and furious over here. <laughs> okay. What, what's going on? I can see steam coming out of your ears. <laughs> exactly. Now you're on to us. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's what she just said is, is that it, it We've never done this before in terms of seeing them on a turntable over Zoom. And so it's, you know, it's, it's a new vantage new point and it's a new experience. So we're kind of like, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, what, what do I think? I, I don't know what I can see. I can't tell what I can't see, I don't know, you know. So it's, it's, we're trying to adjust to the new, the, the new reality of looking at stones, you know. Isn't it, yeah, so if you see gems that you love and you feel like you might want them, so just grab it. And then I'll send it to the store and then you can just, you can come down and look at it and do a design. If you absolutely hate it, then send it back. But if you love it, which yeah, I yeah. think you might, <laughs> then just get it. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're, you know, we're going back and forth here. She's also, go ahead and hand it to me, I can hold it up. Oh, oh pocket of stones over there. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. No, you're gonna show them. This is um, she's, she's got the, the old, ye old pocket of stones over here. So <laughs> there's always, um, you know, the conversation, well, well, I have one of those. Well, I don't have one of those, but that might be kind of a nice combination. Ooh, you know, there's a whole lot. Of, a whole lot of nice. <laughs> right, how many opals can you possibly have in your life, right? <laughs> it's, it's, exactly. There are a lot of moving parts. And we were just at a, we were literally, literally at a jeweler today in Naples. We're in Naples, Florida. And we were literally bringing in a stone and, you know, going to have it set. And, you know, he's doing his drawings and so on. Right. You know, so this is, this is my mom's wheelhouse. So I was like, you know, I just got this invitation. You want to do this since I'm here and I can get you on Zoom and, you know. <laughs> All that stuff. Oh, We're just trying to get our arms around it. That's all. You That's know, um, Karen, I've got an idea. If you're if you're undecided today, let's set up an appointment for you. We can just do this, and we can show you privately, and you can look one by one. Uh -huh. You can ask your questions. We can do this um, this week sometime. Wait a minute. It's weekend. We can do exactly. it. Early you're going into a holiday. Yeah, Try we can out. do it. We can do it early next week, yeah. like Tuesday, maybe Wednesday or something. Yeah, just, just call my grade. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> How does that sound, Karen and Barbara? Thank you. It's, I mean, it's, it's, as I said, it's fascinating to see him on location and see the stones. And as I said, we're just taking it all in. We're on the taking it all in round. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this is? In colors. It That's could a, be a t -shirt. This is a rare gem. They're no longer mining. It's called grape garnet. Um. Yeah, that's ah. extremely rare. Carrot 81. Do you have that yet? <laughs> <laughs> In your collection. That's only $598 for that gem. <laughs> oh, mm. this is an interesting color. Yes. It's Where did it come from? It came from Mozambique. Back, back oh. in the 90s, they found some smaller crystals in India. 
and it was quickly gone. Um, and then they found it again in 2015. I bought every piece I could get while it was available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's not, not a whole lot left. So if you want that, that's not going to be around much. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have, more, do you have more grape garnet you can show us that's maybe cut so it's sparklier? Oh, uh, that's a that's pretty sparkly. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty sparkly. And other shape. Yeah. I've got an oval here. Ooh, there you go. Oh my. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Tell Just us about, about that. This is a carrot ninety-one. It's five hundred and eighty for that one. God, that's a pretty thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's eight point two by seven point one. Some of these gems like this, like your zircon, um, like the like dime, the like the uh, ruby, the bicolor. This is rare. This is rare and unusual material. These are gems that are highly collectible. Who else has a gem that they would like to see or uh, find interesting? How about you, Sang? Am I pronouncing Just asking right? about green garnet. Is that a thing still? I have it, yes. Sang, can you hear me? Am I pronouncing your name right? You're on mute. You have to open. Your you have to unlock your uh, re Yeah, I like the ruby. It's beautiful. Yeah. You like the ruby? Yeah, I think that's my birthstone. So, You're, what day in July are you born? Uh, July fifth. Ah, I'm on the ninth. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a fantastic ruby. Nice. They're exponentially more valuable than diamonds. Oh yeah. And rare. Yes, much more. And where did I just put on the turntable? I had something really interesting. I just... You put on a green, a green, a green garnet. Yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, Savorite garnet. It comes from, this comes from Tanzania. That's a carrot 43. It's only 3,575. It's a nice stone. It is. That and the zircon, grape garnet. Oh, you could do the combo with the zircon and the, and the savarite. Yeah, you could. They actually really go well together. Yeah, the green and the blue. So, Anne? Yeah? Abra does uh, have some zircon. Do you mm -hmm. want um, to see David's and, and compare them all in person? I hate to have him ship them out. Maybe I should just come back and look at yours again. What, what I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to remember the stone. I, I've been staring at it for about a year and a half now. Yeah. <laughs> we have a round Time. eight millimeter mm -hmm. and then we have a round pair that are 7.4 millimeters. Um, and, and his are more oval. Okay. And how, what are the dimensions of yours, David? Okay, the, the zircon that I've got is the, um, let's see, where are they? Okay, the oval. 8.9 by 7. Yeah, by 7.4. And, and the, the little guys are 7.2 by 6.3. Oh, there you go, you're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Have we written this down? Yes, we have. <laughs> you know what you're doing there. Uh huh. Did, did we now? Did we miss any gems? Is there anything that I can show you that maybe we didn't see yet, and that you might be interested in seeing and or purchasing? Now, David, one last question: This grape garnet. Does that? I mean, to me, that's reading not only purple, but hot pink. Uh, it's, it is quite purple. It does have uh, pink in it as well. It's pinkish purple. But that, that is, uh, it's an extraordinary gem. Yeah. Oh my. 
And so is that Savorite. Of course, the Zircons, there's no, you know, what can you say about that? Two by 7.1. Okay. Oh, well, let's see if it's finished. Now. Okay, I think um, we can go ahead and start wrapping things up. Um, okay. Yeah, thanks for joining. Any last comments or questions before we wrap it up? Well, thanks everyone for joining us. I hope you had fun. I hope um, I hope we made you feel good and distracted you a little bit from everything that's going on. Uh, thanks again for joining us. Take care. Be safe out there. And Alex, thank, we'll, we'll thank you for time. thank you for the gift very much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. We'll you will save it for the show. <laughs> yes, thank you for for joining us, everybody. Thank you. You bet. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.